Some huge news regarding Apex's aim assist just dropped. So I figured that we'll go over these news together and I'll explain why. Despite to some it seeming like a nothing burger, it's kind of a big deal. It's more or less a something burger. Obviously it goes without saying, nerfing aim assist is a pretty big deal for the vast majority of players who do play Apex on controller, but the news go a little bit farther than just potentially changing the strength of one input over the other, so let's just dive straight into the news and, you know, the implications of said news. Leading up to Season 18, as with every season, Respawn held a presentation for press and invited content creators, giving them information about all of the upcoming changes for the season, plus giving a little bit of a Q&A at the very end of the presentation, where the creators, pros and press could ask their own questions. And it seems like in this Q&A, Respawn, like every other season, was asked about their stance on aim assist and whether we would see a nerf or a buff or anything really. But instead of giving a vague answer like we have seen so many years prior, we actually received what I believe to be the first official mention of aim assist or changing it in any capacity since the whole tap strafe controversy. You know, the tap strafe controversy? where tap strafing was going to be removed and Jay Beebs, one of Respawn's employees, made a large twit longer explaining how aim assist isn't something that can be balanced the same way as a gun or movement technique because as an input, using the input sits at one layer above game design. Yeah, that's tap strafe controversy. I could dive into the whole twit longer and there's a good chance you probably should if you are really interested in this topic, but there is one specific sentence in here that I want to bring attention and I've actually brought this specific sentence back to attention about a year or so ago because yeah, you'll see soon. Within his whole post, which was very informative, Jay Beebs said something very important all the way back when it was posted in 2021. JB said that if I see players converting out of what they think is necessity, I would 100% be concerned. In fact, I am meeting with CGE, weapons and analytics teams this week to take a temperature reading on the situation. And as far as I'm aware, this tweet all the way back in 2021 was the last time we heard an official stance on aim assist and its power, nerfs, buffs, whatever. Basically what he was saying was that if players were converting out of necessity, there would be cause for concern. And mind you, this was in 2021, when the discussions had just started to flare up. But most players, other than a minority of the pros at the time, were still on mouse and keyboard. The landscape is a lot different today, and while I don't have any specific data that's in Respawn's own hands, I can safely say that the vast majority of players that do get a kill on me are on controller. They're not on mouse and keyboard, despite being on PC. As for the pro scene, while it's mostly an even split in the current pro league, a majority of the upcoming professionals are all playing on controller, and some of the established professional players have made the switch to the input as well, including TSM's Imperial HAL, Sentinel's Lou, and Energy's Frex. And again, this mention in a tweet longer was the only time we had heard about aim assist until now. Also, leading up to this press conference, there had actually been some anonymous leaks or mentions and whispers in the pro side of the community that an aim assist nerf was on the way. I could never verify the specific source, not that I'd ever have the chance, and I'm not a journalist, so believe me or don't. But it was something that almost every pro echoed when I spoke to them, which makes sense as the pro community actually had a meeting with Respawn before the season dropped, just more or less like the one the press had, but way longer ago. And that is why this mention is incredibly important. In the Xerto's article on the whole situation, Respawn is quoted as saying, we are definitely looking at aim assist and we don't have any changes at this time, but it is definitely something we want to address. And again, before you take this as a nothing burger, keep in mind all of the context I just dropped in your lap. We haven't heard anything concrete from Respawn about aim assist since J Beeb's tweet longer in 21, and now all of a sudden they're breaking the silence stating that it is something they want to address. This points towards changes being on the horizon. And obviously this is probably not soon. I don't think this has to be a change for the upcoming season because I think we would have heard about it. But what we can say is that something is coming. And I do want to quickly nip this in the bud. Yes, SMGs are getting nerfed and yes, Peacekeeper is getting disruptors and yes, the Prowler will be in the care package this season. But this cannot be the nerf to the aim assist that we have been hearing the whispers about. 
Sure, these changes will remove some power from things that were historically good on controller, but it's not like they were weak on mouse and keyboard or anything. Changing any in-game balance shouldn't and probably won't impact controller players any more than it impacts mouse and keyboard players. And while I've seen some players seem to claim that this is the nerf that we've been talking about, it would actually go against the previous post from 2021, where JB stated that inputs don't take part in balancing decision. By this logic, Respawn would never aim to nerf controller or aim assist through changing weapons or playstyles that were typically stronger on controller, because they see aim assist and in-game balancing as two separate things. And I for one am happy. Again, it's probably incredibly far away, but the fact that after so long it's finally actually been acknowledged and that changes are almost certainly coming means that maybe the game won't be as doomed as I believed. It's almost reinvigorating and makes me feel less bad about not making the switch to controller just so I would have a chance to compete. I've actually been aim training way more than usual and I've been so ready to show off my mouse and keyboard aim skills in more balanced lobbies. But as usual, reading the Twitter replies breaks my heart. So many angry console players in the replies absolutely fuming that this was even brought up in the first place. We haven't even heard what the changes are. They don't understand that they're playing in separate lobbies and that they're not even in the same lobbies as mouse and keyboard users in the first place. And adding to that, lowering aim assist on console is a good thing because it raises the skill expression on the platform where the better players will still be able to beam if they are good enough and the bad players will struggle because they don't get beams for free anymore. Nerfing aim assist, as I've mentioned so many times on this channel, to the point where a vast majority of the player base just hates me and my opinions, is better for the game's longevity. I mean, if everyone just aim assists everyone to death, how is there supposed to be any skill expression? Aim assist levels the playing field and turns what would be a normal skill curve where the worst players are at the bottom and the best at the very top, to a weird amalgamation of a skill curve where a massive majority of players fall into the same skill bracket. And in my opinion, and in many of my viewers' opinions, watching controller players is generally pretty boring. It looks robotic and other than some very small, very impressive outliers like Jim Burton who beams on very far ranges, it just cannot be as impressive as a good old mouse and keyboard. I don't even know how many clips I've seen floating around where I'm initially impressed by the absolutely inhuman beams, only to realize that it's been digitally assisted after seeing that tooltips show a controller input rather than a keyboard. How am I supposed to be impressed by that? Mouse and keyboard users have way more room for error and way more options when it comes to skill expression through movement or aiming styles, and they're just so fun and dynamic to watch. But every time I see footage from a controller player, it's just a snooze fest. Also, many argue that the derf to aim assist has to be a change to rotational aim assist, which, generally speaking, I agree with, it is worth mentioning that in R5 Reloaded, which is a custom modded build based on a Season 3 version of Apex, they do allow controller players to play, but instead of giving them 0.4 aim assist like they have in the main PC game, these players are stuck to 0.3 aim assist instead. Many of these players say that playing on a slightly weaker aim assist actually has helped them become better at aiming, and another note is that when developers have been playing around with the numbers, many R5 Reloaded users agree that lowering it to 0.2, a straight up halfening in the aim assist's own strength, is too much and makes it almost impossible to beam. As a PC mouse and keyboard player, I'm especially happy to see changes to aim assist, because as some of you all might know, there's been a recent influx of scripters, macros, and config abusers in our midst. These are players who run different types of legal software on their computers that gives them the same abilities and in some cases even stronger abilities than on mouse and keyboard, like scripting movement through neostrafes, tap strafing, super gliding, moving while looting, and much much more even though they're playing on a controller. This gives them mouse and keyboard-like movement, but they're still getting their aim assisted, allowing them to hit some insane beams. And in my opinion, even though this is a separate topic, there should be a crackdown on scripting in general, and this is no matter whether the scripter is a mouse and keyboard user or a controller user, but it obviously feels a lot worse if the scripting is done by somebody who already has aim assist. Because at that point, they're barely playing the game themselves. They're having help with aiming, they're having help with moving, they're having help to go to the bathroom. Somebody's holding their hand every step of the way. And that's especially frustrating as somebody who does everything manually and has gone through tens of thousands of hours to get to this point. Overall, despite there not being a promise of a nerf or that changes are here anytime soon, it's safe to say that with all of the context, we can expect there to be a nerf on the horizon. And funny enough, nerfing aim assist has happened before, 
even though it was just for a brief period of time, when Respawn accidentally nerfed aim assist, and oh boy, that was just a glorious few days to be on the internet. If you guys do want to peek into what the future could look like, you're gonna wanna check out the video on the screen. Thank you all so much for listening to my thoughts, I am curious to hear what you all think, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.